I just don't feel myself, said the lady. I think there's something wrong with me. I'm tired all the time, basically exhausted. That's not normal for someone who's only 43. Now, I've heard this story a million times. People convinced they've lost their former glory. That there's some medical diagnosis which will explain this worn-out story. I don't really mind doing the blood test. Occasionally the results are quite revealing, demonstrating anemia or a thyroid issue, which may be the cause of how they are feeling. However, way more often than not, no overt cause can be found. And as I show them the normal results, their disappointment is genuinely profound. So what else could be going on with the patient who was sitting next to me? Well, I had a few ideas to share. Controversial, but see if you perhaps agree. First, I said, I know what you mean. And I hope that this allays your fears. But after my children came along, I was tired for the next 10 years. We were latecomers to the kid thing. And as older parents, that was rough. Less resilient and set in our ways. With limited help, which was tough. As a younger doctor, I loved night shift, no matter how busy or how gory. However, endless sleepless baby nights, well, that was a completely different story. And during those years, we sacrifice a lot. Managing house, work and toddlers ain't fun. So when we get some time to ourselves, we veg out instead of doing the run. There are 168 hours in a week, easily enough time to fit exercise in. But the thought of it is overwhelming and we don't know how to begin. We feel entitled to sit down and chill, zone out and try to forget. Ironically, the more active we are, the more vitality and energy we get. Our bodies really deserve hard exercise. Everyone knows this is good for you. It has almost immeasurable benefits and it might help you sleep better too. It gives you time to declutter your head. There's benefits even if you don't go far, which is way better than sitting on the sofa complaining about how tired we are. Next up, food is part of the problem. The choices we make can be a scourge. When tired, we lean on convenience and comfort Have something more nutritious, I would urge. A diet full of processed, refined carbs is easy and tastes good at the time, but it comes with some potential problems that appear shortly down the line. You see, they cause an insulin high, which feels like a low sugar attack. So mid-morning and mid-afternoon, you start craving a high sugar snack. Try instead to take a different route. Invest in whole food snacks and meals. Treat your insides with better nourishment and watch your body give you good feels. I know that this can seem difficult. And there isn't a hack, I have to say. It's all just about the preparation. Just get up a bit earlier every day. That way you give yourself some time to plan for the day ahead. So when you do give in to peckishness, you've got something healthy to hand instead. Certainly if I'm not well prepared, on busy days I throw this advice away. But an unfortunate truth I'm aware of is I'll pay an exhaustive price later that day. So what's next on this list? Well, it's an old favourite I must confess. It's our ever-present nemesis. Of course I'm talking about stress. Cortisol is the stress hormone, and it's mentioned a lot, I know. It's the, on your marks, get set. But alas, you never quite get the, go. Work, kids, life admin and crises, all those things you can't escape from, like screens, the news, poor diet and sleep, all cause cortisol to be permanently on. It leads to mental exhaustion and inflammation. So we eat the pizza and grab the beer from the shelf, sit on the couch, don't go for the run, and the prophecy continues to complete itself. What we should be doing is early nights, 
yoga, meditation and mindfulness. But it's easier to have the cake and feel the victim and just accept all of the tiredness. Perhaps that is what we need to do. Practice acceptance and contentment and just ignore all the warning signs which will eventually lead to our detriment. Maybe tiredness is our new normal. In that state we will forever dwell. Or we can become more enlightened, knowing we have to push ourselves to be well. So with all this knowledge in hand, the lady gave a nod of her head. You've just explained my entire life and why I just want to stay in bed. We know eventually all things must pass and life one day falls back in line. But almost everyone I know in their 40s is continually tired all the time.